The test summary section is entered through the corresponding link at the top of the main panel page. Here, administrators can call up a summary of all test or survey participants' results by means of these four feature buttons. Taking them one at a time, the first is actually the default search page for collective test results. Begin by entering a known test password and click the search button. The return search result will display an overall summary of any tests and surveys conducted to date, as well as a summary of each individual participant's performance. To see a breakdown of an individual's answers, click the View Detail link and they will duly appear. Next is the Individual Results button. This time you would enter a participant's username and click the search button. Details of all tests and surveys associated with that individual shall then appear, including their scores. You can data sort this information by clicking on any of the column headers. In this example we'll choose Test Title. The results are immediately arranged in alphabetical order and any subsequent clicks of that header will cause the data underneath to be inverted. As demonstrated previously, clicking on the View Details link will reveal that particular test participant's answers to every question. Next we have the specific Test Stats button, which is once again activated by means of a test password. As you can see, this gives rise to a table showing the collective results of all test participants thus far, beginning with an overall percentage score for each question answered correctly. In the case of a survey, this would refer to the most desired option. The table also shows the number of test appearances of each question as well as whatever percentage of the test participants have opted for each of the possible answers that were available to choose from. Please note, if option E and option F were not required for the test or survey, their columns will show as NA or not applicable. Clicking on the View Details link shows the correct answer at the top, in this case B, 21 years. And below that, a note of each individual score. In this example, we see that only Ishan attained the correct answer. Looking at specific test results again, we see that with only one of the five participants answering correctly, the overall percentage of correct answers is 20%, as is the percentage of candidates opting for answer B, and 80% for answer D. Last but not least, we have the Overall Stats button. The default layout for this page is determined by the question header, which sorts all questions into alphabetical order. If, however, you wish to sort the questions in reverse order for quicker identification, of a specific question result, you would click the header title, as was the case here. Notice you can also create an alphabetical or chronological data sort of the results by clicking the relevant header title at the top of the table. Last but not least we have the keywords feature. This produces a list of questions containing the word or words from the search field, making it easier for you to home in on specific question results. Clear the results, click on the clear link to the right of the search field. This will return you to the overall summary page and to return to Qu Choicer's main panel page, click on said button. Waiting for you on the main panel page will be a randomly pulled question from your own personal database.